Hey guys, welcome back to Kits in the Game, the series where I'm jumping back into the football games of our childhood to see if the shirts in these games are actually any good. Do the shirts stack up in hindsight to the real thing? Last time round, we looked at FIFA 98 and today I'm going to be taking a look at PES 6. A lot of you guys requested this particular game and for good reason, this is a classic Classic football game. As we did before, I'm going to look at an international game and also a club game, as well as the features that exist in the game for customizing kits, creating kits, if there are those features in the game. So let's start with an international match again. I want to see what the Japan kit looks like. And then let's go against another international team. You know what? We did, uh, we did Sweden last time in episode one. And they're here again. They had a nice Umbro kit, if I remember correctly. So let's try that. Oh, nice. Here we go. I love this uh, strip selection screen. This is great. You can see already with the previews. Okay. Looking good. Look at that Japan kit on the left. And Sweden as well. And the away. Wow, look at that. Okay, I want to go. Let's go home v home. So here we go. It's a rainy day in Japan. And let's see what the kits are like in this match, in this game. I've got high hopes. I've got very high hopes. My memories of this game are very good. And here we go already. Okay. I mean, the first thing I want to say, guys, I love that we've got the bespoke typefaces. That was really good to see. Of course, the famous Adidas Team Guys template, which Japan had a great version of. And similarly for Sweden, the Umbro template looks good. Okay. Okay. I mean, to be honest, the graphics actually look quite good as well. Considering the age of the game, look at that. That's clearly Nakamura and Nakata there. And indeed, the kits, they look good. It's funny how the, um, yeah, they're not the sharpest. But given the kind of graphical fidelity we're talking about here in 2006, we can forgive that, I think. Of course, I'll try to, uh, to talk as I'm playing, which could be bad. Excited. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. I was just about to make another comment, but Larson has scored again. And I don't know what the keeper was doing there, but a good look at the kits as we see the celebration. I love the, the fact they've, they've done the, uh, the Umbro typeface there, but um, terrible goalkeeper. Again, I'm really impressed with the level of detail. Here we go, here we go. Um, you see on the side of the, the, uh, the shirt there, that's looking good. Indeed, the shorts again. You can even see like on the shorts uh, and the shirt uh, areas where they've kind of rendered the um, the mesh panels on the in the shirt and shorts there. That's great. That's a very it's the kind of detail no one's probably going to notice or care about. But looking back, I'm really impressed with that. Really like that they've got the bespoke keeper kits. Of course, we didn't have that in FIFA 19. But it looks great there. Look at that typeface again, guys. Classic ALS typeface. Look at the Japan uh, flag on the back of the neck. That is excellent attention to detail. And I'm just really impressed. There's a lot of detail in this kit. You know what they've even got? Again, apologies for my camera work. But they've got the Team Geist uh, sleeve detail in there. Look at that. That is honestly really, really impressive. I, I love that. I really like uh, the look of that there. So let's see if I can pull a goal back. So the half-time whistle blows, we get some nice shots of the kits as the players walk off. I really enjoyed that, and I really, really like the kits in this game. Oh, Ibra misses. Clear-cut chance. Uh, yep, got away with that one. <laughs> this has not been a vintage performance from Japan. It's fair to say. Oh, he's through and go. Oh, terrible, terrible. Sprinting straight into the keeper's arms. Possession gain there. And Ibrahimovic arrives in the box. Oh, and Ibra scored. Japan punished in the worst possible way. Let's so get another look at the Umbro kit. Surely this has to be just about the last kick of the game here. Japan have a chance at the end. Could be a chance here. Oh, yes. They got there. 
It's a consolation goal, but uh, there's hope yet for uh, for the next game. But uh, <laughs> enjoyed that one. Oh, finally, some sort of pride restored. Two on goal. Oh, point it through as well. Oh, I don't know how he got that pass there, but he did. So there we go. I lost 2-1, but it was a really, really fun game. Really enjoyed seeing the kits. And I'm so impressed. Things like those sleeve details and back neck details, which I wasn't sure if we were going to see. But they were there, and that was great. That was really, really good. Now let's go with a couple of club teams. And I want to pick uh, maybe a smaller manufacturer. Should we go with someone like Palermo? who I believe had Lotto at this time, and quite a famous Lotto template, so let's go with them. And let's go with the Nike team. How about PSG? They had the Louis Vuitton kit, and here we go, you can see the, ah uh, oh yes, guys, we've got it, we've got the kits. So on Palermo's side, the classic Lotto template, uh, which is used by a number of teams, and even seen in the World Cup, I believe uh, Serbia and Montenegro had that template. And on PSG, you can see the away kit. Yes, here we go. So, ugh, oh, glorious, glorious. We've got the the beautiful pink kit of Palermo and the very collectible PSG kit. This was a collaboration kit before collaboration kits were cool, way before the Jordan partnership and things like that. Guys, this is so good. I am so impressed going back to this game. And this has exceeded my expectations. My expectations were high. But the fact that it's not just the big manufacturers, you've got the great Lotto kit there, and look at that. Look at the PSG kit. Sure, the intricacies of the pattern uh, in the kit are maybe not quite what they could be, but again, we're going back to uh, 2006. And look at the snow falling here. Absolutely beautiful. What a matchup. Love that many of the players are wearing gloves and long sleeves as well. Let's see if I can perform slightly better than I did against Sweden. Should be quite a competitive fixture to this one. In terms of colour, I'd say maybe the PSG kit is a little bit more burgundy than the uh, the real life kit, which I believe was slightly brown. But I mean, we're being pretty picky there. Oh, huge save. Huge save from the keeper. Pretty sure that was going in. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's fair to say this game has started like the other one. Went and another chance. So there we go, half time, nil nil. Big chance to see the kits as the players will buff. Great to see the sponsor here. And look at that, the league patch looking nice and crisp there. Yeah, really, really decent stuff. Really decent stuff. Once again. Unstorming run here. Oh, he plays it out. It's been sloppy. It feels like the quality has dropped quite a bit from the uh, from the previous game. Oh, as he says that, he passes it to the... Oh, no. Oh, no. They've scored. They've scored. <laughs> ah, come on, dude. Just goes. Oh, wow. I mean, I said the quality dropped. <laughs> I'd like to say I did that so we could get an instant replay. In truth, I was actually trying there. Uh, and Frau gets his goal. <laughs> Embarrassing. But let's take this opportunity to look at the kits. Complete with accurate typeface and league patch. And we can see as well uh, the Lotto font, the Palomo font, in all its glory. Can he get a shot away? And PSG again, trying to Here score a second. It's end of the game. So, another defeat, but another win for the kits. So good to see the details. Really, really nice to see that PSG kit. A very collectible kit. If you own that kit, After a loss like you're a very lucky you person. They can now learn. And like we did in episode one, I also want to see the options for customising kits or creating kits. This is something which is often a bit of a lost art in modern games, but in a lot of these older games, there's some amazing options. So let's go to the kit editor. Of course, not all these teams are licensed, but you can see here for the teams that are, we've got a nice little preview. Unfortunately, it looks like, yeah, we can't edit uh, the license kits. 
but we can edit the non-licensed ones. And if we scroll through, we've got some great Pez teenagers, London FC, Merseyside Blue. Let's go to Liverpool, or Merseyside Red. It's quite funny already just seeing these kits. That home strip looks a bit like a New Balance kit, doesn't it, with those sleeve details? But I want to see, yeah, let's go to the away. Now, Liverpool had a great away kit at this time. I'll just bring up a picture as I speak. I want to try and recreate this kit. Let's see how we can do that. I want to see, just using the basic tools, how close we can get. So let's have a look here. I've got a few areas of the kit. Small parts, large parts. Okay, okay. Let's maybe just choose a colour so we can see the area a bit more. Let's go for a nice bright pink. Okay. So with this asymmetric design, actually, we might not need an area around the collar. If you wanted to create, look at that, a bit of a Nike Total 90 uh, template, the sort of Mark II of the Total 90. Oh, we're bringing back memories just already in this section. But I don't think we need this for our Liverpool way. What have we got? Okay, we've got some more options here. Okay, nice, nice. We can do that. And let's go for the right colour. Let's just use the colour picker. Uh, it's sort of a, almost like a teal, isn't it? It's maybe a bit greener than that, but let's go there. Okay, we've got a sleeve. Okay. What about large parts too? Here we go. Now, again, we want a sort of asymmetric design. There's lots of options here. Oh, just going back to the totality. Look at that. I love seeing this. We had this in FIFA 98 as well, where you can see some of these famous templates. Uh, this isn't relevant for trying to make Liverpool away, but uh, so nice to see that you've got a very clearly distinguishable Total 90 template. But anyway, we're looking for uh, an asymmetric look. Okay, that's a bit better. Let's get our colour again. Yep, looking better, looking better. What's this third section here? More options. It's great to see the number of options. You can kind of layer these areas on top of one another. Oh, hang on, how about we go for sort of three stripes? Yes, got the Adidas three stripes. And let's get that in the right colour. Beautiful. Okay, okay. I mean, obviously we could spend more time perfecting this, but uh, that's great. And we've got some great options for the shorts. Again, kind of various Adidas styles. I can't remember the exact ones Liverpool had, but let's go for some three stripes nonetheless. And there we go, in just a few minutes, you can have fun, you can play around. And this is something we haven't really touched on in this video, but you can go in and actually add uh, custom designs. You could take the time to create the Liverpool logo or the Carlsberg sponsor, for example. Uh, we've not been able to go into that in this video. Uh, we're just using the base game, but I'm just so excited. The options really are good in here. Again, you can layer these different elements. There's really good options for color. This is just simply an amazing feature and something that is a game in itself, a feature which you could spend hours on. And indeed, when I was preparing this video, people have already been saying that they spent more time uh, in this sort of editor than they did playing games. Honestly, I can completely see why. Just as we begin to wrap up, I've remembered that you can actually look in detail at the numbers of the kits, even the license kits. If we go to number, and there we go, guys. Look at this. For example, you can see the famous Puma font from this era. And the numbers look great. The names look good. It's very faithful to the original. Let's try some other teams. Let's go Netherlands. They were Nike at the time. And there we go. They're very uh, angled square font. That's so nice. Look at that. And we can finish. We saw this with the Japan kit, but if we go to someone like France, of course, we've got the famous Adidas font from the era. But guys, I think that's where we'll end it. I have enjoyed this so much. Pez 6 has delivered and some. I've been so impressed with the level of detail in the kits, with the attention to detail when it comes to name and number sets as well. This has been really good. And of course, the options to edit kits are fantastic. Again, if you want to go in and change Germany's kit, you've got so many options to do so. So this has been so much fun. Once again, please do recommend uh, other games to try. And I don't just want to try good games as well. If you've got a game from your childhood which you just remember being absolutely hilarious or quite bad for kids, let me know. I want to get your suggestions, guys. And I've got a few ideas as well. But that'll do it for episode two of Kits in the Game. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel and you will see more episodes like this. Subscribe and you'll know when they're dropping. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.